Okay guys, I'm back. Another video. Hopefully the annoying server in the background isn't too loud. I last left off with importing your private key into your coin and I'm going to show you the difference of why you need these. I'm going to log into a Linux box real quick. Uh... Oh, sure, be like that. Never fails. Every time I try to record, got a nice practiced, rehearsed. Something always breaks. We are in. Okay, we got our key. Up here where it says public key. Okay. You have to remember that. Nomp uses two different keys. I'm going to show you when and when not to use them. So all the Nomp setups are pretty much the same. Getting started. If you go to one of the ports on the left, it shows you public key. Now, if you mind with your wallet address on here, it would break the server. Really won't say break the server, but you won't get any payouts, so let's just say that. If you tried to use your public key here, it would work, but you will not get payouts either. So, I know the script is on port 4444, so put our public key in there. No password needed. I'm going to limit it to three processors on this machine because I don't want to burn it up. And I don't think we'll get any hits off of it, but we'll let it run for a second, see what happens. But yeah, we're not gonna get anything with CPU mining, so. So that's when you would use your public key. Now, if you want to go to a solo coin, that's when you use your wallet address. And your wallet address, you come back to the key here. 
select your coin, and here you go, your public address. And that's where we got the private key to import into your wallet. So, paste that in there. Did do that right. Oh, no, I forgot. Change port. Uh, star coin is on 3010, I believe. Oof. There she goes mining away. Now if you used your public key on the coin specific or your hash public key up here and mined on a solo coin, it would work and generate blocks but you'd never get paid. And vice versa if you used your public coin specific on a switching port, uh, it would generate coins but you wouldn't get paid. So you'd have to be very careful what you're doing. And a lot of them have different ports set up for different difficulties. 832, 256. Um, not quite sure why it doesn't show the port over here. That's why I labeled each port under algorithm. Doesn't make a difference. On NUMP, you get your graph stats. See what coins are being mined. What kind of hit you're getting. Tab stats shows you a general view of the coins. Worker stats gives you what workers are doing what. That's kind of generic but that's the best I can come up with for you. So I am going to end it there and I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, if you got any questions or anything you know where to find me. FlutterCoinTalk.com